Hello everybody! Welcome back to my Climbing the Ladder save. We are currently playing here down in the 10th division of English football with Worcester Raiders. When we last left off, we had played four games. We had won three of them and drawn one. We're currently top of the league, of the league table by goal difference. If we take a look at the schedule, as you can see, we started off a little bit sketchy with a 3 all draw, but since then we have been cooking on gas with a most recent 5-0 win against Stratford. However, you can see they are towards the bottom end of the table, so that might have been to be expected. Uh, taking a look at our squad, you can see we've got a lot of trials on, a lot of people that aren't any good. We're still pretty thin on the ground. If we go to our tactics screen, as you can see, we're still playing with one or two people that are not up to par. Panda, hello, how are you? I'm very zoomed out, am I? How are you? I'm very... That might be due to my monitor. I'm running 2K rather than 1080p. Who knows? Meaning game? I'm not sure I follow. How are you today, Panda? As we clear through all of this. Two goals from Mulders in our last game. Very nice, very nice. I mean, we're on 100%. Should we kick it up a little bit just to make it easier to see? I am on a 2K resolution, so that might have something to do with it. We'll see what it's like when it's refreshed. Hopefully that's a little bit better for you. <laughs> Looks absolutely massive for me now, but we'll go with it. Less normal on a normal screen. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, we've got a few people that we've offered contracts to, which is waiting to see if they accept it all. Still desperately trying to put a squad together for the full season. With what little money we have available. Uh, people going elsewhere though, nobody wants to come play with us apparently. Sad times. Uh, so Chris Carey could be good cover here. Three and a half star, 21 years old. Let's see if he goes for a good starter. He will. 
But of course, as we know, we don't have any money to play for people. Nevertheless, we'll keep trying. And see what we can manage with what we're given. That's our next match. Next match is in eight days, so that's not too bad. Gives us a little bit of time to go and find somebody. Oh, this guy, for example. Reassign coach assignments for the youth team. But uh, I used to have to never put them on anything. Yeah, that's usually what I do, to be fair. I tend not to bother doing too much. Need to change coach assignments for the youth team. Targets. Big deal at clubs like Leipzig. Yeah, I can imagine. It's probably not too much of an issue whilst we're down at our tilly little club size, but <laughs> so we're gonna end this contract. We get future targets. We'll make a targets one as well. Just set ourselves up for the future. And because we can't sign this guy at the moment. We will put him on a future targets. Let this guy come in. Very defensive. Who we play with defensively? We play with a ball wheel in midfielder down here and a box to box. So Dan Pierce, you're a good ball wheel midfielder cover there. Fair enough. Always nice seeing people pop up we can actually afford. Yeah, this guy looks like he could be one to keep as a backup for the future. Promising though. Yeah, no. That's a no for you, Demeji. Sorry about that. I've heard of that one. I'm gonna have to go check it out after this. Ooh, first round of the FA Vars. Who do we get? Siren Sesters Reserves. 
Oh, they're in our league. All right. It could be a lot worse. Let's take a look at Ross Carmichael, see if he's any good. We still need a some cover for defender, so... Even if it's just bodies through the door, it will make a certain improvement for us. He yeah, looks pretty decent. He's 32 years old, but his natural fitness is good. 6'1 and can jump well. Good leader, good teamwork for this sort of level. Which means I won't be able to afford him. Yeah, look at that. I cannot wait until we get out of this league and that tiny budget stops being so much of a limitation. Trying to find people that will actually play for £20 a week is difficult, to say the least. That's another one gone. I oh, know we couldn't afford him actually. Never mind. I accidentally clicked on the hidden attributes tab. Let's look at that. 17 kisses to me. And 70 potential ability. <laughs> Yeah, I like to keep some things from the game hidden, some things not. I've got it set on this save that we can see their attributes straight away, just to speed scouting up a little bit. Everybody's going everywhere else. So we've now only got two people. That have stuck around. So we've got a few more days till the Saracens game. We're looking a little bit dry on the scouting at the moment, and that's worrying me. I don't like using the player search tab. I feel like that breaks the realism a little bit. And Pierce has gone somewhere else, so we haven't even signed him. Wonderful, wonderful. Financial update insecure. Wonderful. The expenditure of staff wages. Scouting doing at the moment. We're both looking for squad player. Okay. Twenty-three year old six foot cent back. We may as well make offers for these people at this sort of level everybody's not worth anything 
Oh, I like the look of this guy. Five star inside forward. Likes big matches. Um, would require no wage contribution. And I'm going to say none selected on preferred role. We'll see what happens that way. Some young 20 year olds there, that might be good for the future. Depending on how well they develop, they might make the jump with us up to the next level in the future. Which would be nice. C plus rating at the moment. Could be worse, I guess. Yeah, just waiting to see how the rest of the season goes. So I might be off for this guy contract at least. That's always nice. As you can see, we're getting people come in at a two star, but they're all the way up here in the list because you've got. U23s added on. Take a look at Morgan James, shall we? Ooh, another right back. You're a little bit too low for my liking. accepted there. Free loans are always very handy. Ooh, hello. Very fast. Clock seems reasonable. Could train them up to be a good right back, I reckon.
Everybody's training well though. I like that. Make sure to praise these other guys. They're doing particularly well. We want to keep everybody nice and happy. We won't be able to get this guy, but always worth a try. Yeah, I thought not. Too good for this sort of level. Let's take a look how we line up for today's game. Mount Joy still our starting keeper. Croft on the right. Yates and East Prospect Brennan still taking up that spot in centre back because we haven't been able to find anybody else yet. Uh, back up on branch on the left is the backup wing back. Mid three is still the same, still looking very strong for the mid three. Uh, our two inside forwards are being the star players of the team. And we've got a new guy Pond up front. Subs are alright. And you can see we're still in need of plenty of first team players. A lot of spots are being played by the backups at the moment, whilst we search for the first team players, but... It is what it is. Let's get those sounds back on. So first match for today, up against Cheltenham Saros, they're down in 11th place. We're looking to maintain our lead at the top of the league at the table. Currently there by goal difference alone. So hopefully we managed to grow that gap a little bit today. Nice interception there from Braz. Clever little play through the middle. That was poor though. Oh dear. No threat though. Kicks it straight out of the park. Immediately into another highlight. I don't know if that's good or bad. Seems to be ours. One shot apiece then, both going over. Very nice lofted ball over the top. Poor finish from Cox. He should be doing a lot better than that. Oh 
my. <laughs> That's going to be a red, isn't it? Lovely. Perfect start to the day. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, what the hell am I going to do with this? Are any of you guys left footed? We'll bring Granger back there. That was the perfect start for today. Absolutely wonderful. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It goes from bad to worse. That was quite a nice free kick though. Credit where credit is due. My expectations for this match have dropped through the floor now. Still making chances though, but we need to be finishing a lot better than that. That was very, very poor. We are still kicking it around nicely. Oh, that was a good opportunity. That's a shame. All right, a dreadful first half. No changes yet, we'll run it back. Let the boys know I'm very disappointed in how they played so far. Every shot so far has been off target. Wonderful. I take it back. That was... Oh no! <laughs> oh, who was off? Oh, it was close. It was close. Shame, because that was a very nice volley following it. If we keep making chances like that though, the goal should come. Well, There's almost one there. We are putting pressure on well. We just need to get better with our finishing. We 
we're not putting our opportunities away like we should be. That was close though. As the corner comes to nothing. I would go attacking here usually, but I don't want to when we're down to 10 men. Granger should be doing better than that. We are just not playing well today, apparently. Like, what even was that? Who was that to? I'm just kicking the ball up the field and hoping for the best at that point. Vito, thank you for the follow, Vito. How you doing? You came just in time for us to go level. <laughs> this has been a Bill's no moment. Although we're back level now, though, so. I still believe we can win it from here. I mean, we could if the strikers would actually run for the ball when it's given to them. Oh, that was wide. Just wide. We have had so many chances today. threatening headers I've seen for a while. <laughs> oh, there's been so many good chances. Yeah. That was always going to be too good to be true. The punch out was an interesting choice. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not happy with the draw, given the circumstances, going down to 10 men and dropping down by a goal shortly after that. The draw is acceptable, I guess. Got to figure out what to do about our left back position now.
still second in the table. I don't mind that. That's still a promotion spot. We are still unbeaten for the first five games, but now we are without our starting left back. Not ideal to say the least. Ooh, that's a lot of promises. We'll see if we can get this guy to sign. I don't know if he'll fit really into what we're trying to play. Nah, he wants too much money anyway. This guy'd be good though. Cancel his trial. I don't mind a 19 year old at 2 star. 20 year old at 2 star is a little bit more disappointing. against the team in third next as well, that's good. Perfect timing to have our only left back sent off in the game before an important match. Wonderful. Yeah, it looks good for a decent defensively midfield option. <laughs> 240 pounds a week. Nothing like asking for 12 times what we can actually afford to play a player. I still have hope for filling our squad out though. We are still finding people. We do have no transfer window to worry about this low down, so. That's always a nice little bonus. Some physicals for him. I 
Yeah, I thought as much. Hello, Zoe. Hello. <laughs> what is that emote? Kind of looks like a Bulbasaur from here. This is like a very promising 18 year old. Oh. Always disappointing. Never mind, on to the next one. Given enough time, I'm sure we'll build the squad properly. Perhaps we keep trying to make do with what we've got for now. See if we can get in on the action here. We do still need. We do still need some defenders. We need cover every everywhere basically as well. So we just need to get bodies through the door. We need to actually get people to commit to the contracts that we've offered them, but. back at 19. See, we keep finding these, like, young 19, 20 year olds that would be good to grow with the club. But they just choose to go and play for somebody else. Because apparently we're not good enough for them. Alright, once so we drop branch. Raid the under 23s. Alright, come on, Brian. Oh, he's tired. He's very tired. Oh, God. You are terrible, but this is the situation we're in. I expect to give away a lot of chances down our left hand side today. But we shall see what happens. We should at least play well with 11 men on the pitch. <laughs> he kind of just like he looked like he fell over there, but... Alright. Hi B! Hi 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 hi! How are you today B? Just fancy to sit down. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was five minutes in, do an exercise. Just needed a little bit of a break. Oh, that was a good chance. Never mind.
What a weird formation they're playing. Just finished work. How was work today, B? <laughs> yeah, it must be in a happy mood if you just finished. I don't like that the goalkeeper just didn't move for that. I guess maybe he knew it wasn't going in, but still. He just stands there, just watching it menacingly. A lot of the chances are going our way. I'm going to push up to attacking. Let's we'll see if we can actually get the goal. <laughs> or oh, we'll just hit it off the crossbar from a free kick. I am very well today, thank you, B. doing a lot better if we can actually win this match but the form that we were in last stream just not seem to be here I do not like what I saw from this team there's a hell of a lot of cheering for no people watching at all <laughs> there is there is you are right there is 49 people here, apparently. Where they are in the stadium, I do not know. Play. <laughs> Two, maybe. That's debatable, though. It would be nice if we could actually score this game. I don't want two games in a row of wasting all of our chances like that. I think that's three times we've hit the woodwork now this game. They shouldn't be able to hear the furious typing. I hope not at least anyway. You just need to stop being so aggressive for once. <laughs> oh! 
have we finally scored? Thank God for that. We do know how to play football. doing laundry. Why isn't he watching me? It's not very nice of him. Oh, I thought Granger was going to get sent off there. Yeah, visions of red. Okay, 2-0 and I'm more comfortable. I like how the chat box uses the color of your name for your little border. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? I do like that. It's a nice little touch. Alex Spurzer, hi, hello, I hope I haven't just immediately butchered your name. Welcome in, welcome in. Thank you very much for the follow, how are you today? I'm doing very well, thank you. I'm doing a lot better now that we're actually winning this match. We did nothing in the first half. It was a little bit depressing, I won't lie. How do you get face packs? Um, I believe I'm running the Zealand face pack. Um, if you search up his channel on YouTube, you should be able to find his video on his channel there. I'm pretty sure he talks about how to install it all. It's a relatively straightforward setup from what I remember. stream this guy spent like 40 minutes asking how to do face packs even if it's a live tutorial in the YouTube link. <laughs> That's definitely something to do off stream. I would not do any weird setup like that on stream for sure. Any admin jobs like that is definitely an off stream thing. Lovely, another good game. Very convincing, seeing as we played who, who were third in the league for that one. Very happy with that win. Keeps us second in the table at the moment. Same goal difference as first. Just those two points dropped from the last draw. Cox did do very well. I would like us to win the league this year, but I'll take just getting promoted. As long as we're climbing as quickly as we can.
Clark is very interested in talking to us. Lovely. He wants to come in as a fringe player straight away. That's a little bit worrying for somebody that says they're four star potential, but it could be because he's 37. That might have something to do with it. He does only 120 pounds, which is a big plus in my books. Oh, hello. <laughs> Possibly Vanarama National Standard in the future. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to sign that guy. Vanarama National being tier 5, and we are all the way down in tier 10. Kiari's gone somewhere else. I don't want to deal with press conferences, thank you. He can use both feet, he's quick. Good work rate. We're gonna try anyway. We'll give him star player. Yeah, I thought as much. It was always going to be a struggle to get somebody like him. Nevertheless, we keep going. Looks like it's time for the first round of the FA Vars. Opportunity to earn a little bit of money at least. Francis is signed for someone else. Wonderful. A 41 year old. Do I want a 41 year old? I don't think I do. However, a very talented 19 year old. That I would like. It looked like he had some very high potential as well. Forty-one-year-old, do you want a corpse? You mean? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty much, especially in football in terms like thirty-ones decently old in footballing terms. 41 is practically dead. Oh, that's creepy. See if we can sign another Mills, shall we? See how this goes then. Oh, we can fit two more subs apparently. Can you make your own face packs? I am not entirely sure. I feel like that would be quite terrifying if you could. I think you can change the faces of people individually. I shall not be putting my face in the game. I do not want to be scaring people away like that. Although there could be a good tactic during the match. I was going to suggest you in different wigs. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Just 
basically redoing all the faces of the regens on my team. Yeah, fair enough. Like 99%, yeah. <laughs> Especially after a certain point. Very quickly, like what, after like 10 years or so. Pretty much everybody's a regen by that point. Oh yeah, if you're over 10 years, then definitely. You might find, like, a random guy who was 17 when you started the game that is still kicking around somewhere, but it's quite highly unlikely from what I've seen so far. It looks to be quite an even game at the moment. Which is a little bit daunting, seeing as these guys are in our league. Although that was very nice. I'll take that goal. Thank you very much. immediately give a chance away at the other end. Raid might make it easier for them to slip into the goal. Oh. Potentially. I think the goalkeepers do tend to catch less when it's raining. Which is quite a nice little detail. Oh, that was poor. I honestly thought that was going to be one all for a minute there. We're all right for now. Bit of a weak chance, that one. Still, 1-0 into the break. for a counter-attack. <laughs> and it sails over. I reckon even I could have done better with that chance. Jesus Christ. 
it definitely feels like we're pushing it for our 1 0 lead at the moment. We're definitely like another goal at this point in the game. 1-0 is always a little bit uncomfortable. Especially when we start just giving the ball away randomly like that. Good save. I was a little bit worried at that one for sure. Stratford's tied. Do we have any subs? Yes and no. We have subs, they're just not good. See, Mulders is really tired now too, but there's just nobody we can bring on for him. that did miss. That definitely felt like it was heading straight for the back of our net. I guess that's one way to waste time at the end of a match, just repeatedly kick it away. <laughs> hmm. Well, that win was not quite as convincing as the other one. But a win is a win. Do you think you could make a manager football team IRL so we could be rich? Thanks. <laughs> That would be nice, wouldn't it? However, we are anything but rich at this level. As you can see, we do not have any money. However, if 
£525 for winning that match. A few more of those, please. That'd be quite nice. Is that it? <laughs> we are a very small club, though. We are very far down at the moment. Draw for the second round. Let's see who we get. We're away to Withenshaw. Where are they? They are also 10th level. So somebody roughly our level. And as long as we keep getting those sorts of matchups, we have a very good chance. I am going to take a very quick break at the moment. I will be just away for a minute or two, but I'll be back very quickly. Anyway. Decent quality players there. I don't even have my mic on the BRB screen. Oh wow. Well. So we didn't hear what he said. <laughs> Oops. I'll have to fix that after the stream. <gasps> we actually have somebody that wants to come play for us. Look at that. 19-year-old Daniel Aitken is a right-footed winger and striker. Looks like he's got good potential still. So we're going to say yes to that. Three-star ability, five-star potential. Do like that. Cool, who else have we got on trial at the moment? I hope we've got this guy that we're not going to be able to afford. Yeah. We have this guy that we're not going to be able to afford. Mala, hello! Hello! Welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing today? So be good that actually doesn't mind the stupidly small pay that we can offer people. Huzzah! Gonna keep people around that we can't afford. Mm. 
Scouting still going well at least. And so we got a nice little break until the next game. Fingers crossed we can actually sign some people. Wouldn't that be nice? Alistair looks nice and versatile. He would be very useful. Naturally, he wants money. I do wonder how many people will actually be able to assign, seeing as we are £77 over the wage budget at the moment. Which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you only have a £500 wage budget. Very much like Danny to be our starting left back. Sadly, no. The search continues. Oh, our next match is against the people that we just beat, so that's always good. Oh, he does want to come play. Wonderful. We now have another right back. You've been tweeting your live? I have not. I have not joined up my Twitter yet. Well, currently, the only people on my Twitter right now are you, Zoe, so... It's not massively important. I'm not missing out on a huge amount of it at the moment. manually tweet now because Streamlabs has messed up your link for whatever reason. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, you do make a point. Maybe next one I'll do something. Leave that for future me to worry about. Say that to myself on the daily. Yeah. Future me hates past me, unfortunately. He keeps giving him all this crap he needs to do. <laughs> we are not friends. <laughs> 
Tom has Venerama North South. Hello, Kilo! How are you today? How are we doing? Oh. Why do the good people want money to be able to play? It's so unfair. Hey, I'm Ilky. <laughs> That is going to have to be my first emote for this channel, isn't it? A little milk bottle or something like that. Charlie Curtis has gone somewhere else, of course he has. He does not look 28, he looks a lot older than 28. Hello, I'm Mitchell. bold. Let's just go and try and sign him straight up. Okay, he does want important player. Can we get him on star player? We can. He wants a lot of money. Of course he does. Of course he does. What about other emotes? I have not thought about any other emotes yet. I do not know what I'm going to do for that. Jack Burton has gone somewhere else. <laughs> no football yet. We'll see, we'll see. Milk bottle mascot. <laughs> I don't know what that would look like then. There's like a weird milk bottle with eyes or something. We swap Hayward over with our new signing, who is slightly better than what we had. I'm not sure how I feel about a 5'11 centre back, but there we go. You have to deal with the cards you're dealt. And unfortunately for Klopp. I'm not a huge fan of our away kit, it's quite boring. You know, the red's quite nice, the white is just... It's a bit naff in my opinion. Now we did just beat these guys 1-0, it was at home. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Killer. I'm glad you got her to the vets, though. Hopefully she does okay. Just 
stream lagged or just you? Um, maybe a little bit. The game does seem to be going a lot more our way at the moment. Hopefully we can capitalize on that. Your internet going to shits? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both, Killer. Looks like I'm dropping a little bit, but not a huge amount. I shouldn't have anything running in the background, so not too sure what's going on. See if we can find any goals in the second half, shall we? I would like to make sure we're as close to first place as possible. Swap to attacking for a little bit. Play a little bit more aggressively, see what happens. on the door. That sounds painful. I managed to break my pinky toe once. It involved a highly technical fix of it being sellotaped to the other toe. It was well worth the trip to the doctors for that, I can tell you. don't want to draw from this game. We have made so many chances. Just nobody wants to score anything apparently. <laughs> oh dear me. A 
every highlight we get is just agonizing. I'm gonna demand more for the last 10 minutes. Although I don't think that went down very well. and no one is there, how you get more people in your stadium. Yeah, yeah. Um, we are at a very low level. Um, we are nine leagues below the top Premier League. That's a very disappointing draw. So, yeah, as we climb and we grow, we'll have more people that want to come watch. Um, Usually as well, clubs this far down do not have a stadium as big as we do. Uh, we happen to... The owner of this club happens to own a... Quite a large Worcester rugby team as well. So we play in their stadium. Which will be good for when we're higher up. It should mean we don't really have to upgrade the stadium until we get to the top league. So we save a little bit of money that way. And when we actually have fans. Am I managing at playing at the same time? No, I am just managing for this. Um, the matches get simulated by the game. Is there a rugby manager? Probably. I am less interested in that. Funny watching them tackle each other. That is true. That is true. Second round of the FA Vars. Everybody is nicely tired because we do not have a lot of squad depth at all. See how this goes. Another chance to get a little bit more money in. However, not a lot at all. I don't like that we immediately gave up a shot there. It's a little bit worrying. These guys are, are our sort of level. That was very poor of us. I am not happy. 
happy with that at all. You want dominoes? Ooh. Dominoes is tempting. Oh. Bloody hell. Why are we getting this many red cards? What are our players actually doing? Two nil down already, and a man down. I have a feeling we're not winning this one. There is a lot of time left in this game, but I am not too hopeful anymore. Or is the command box still not working? Dang it! That's very annoying. Oh, hello! I mean, 2 1. So you're saying there's a chance. Doris, thank you for the follow! How are you doing today, Doris? Better to sell the team and start again. <laughs> Maybe. Did we just score? Excuse me? <laughs> What even happened? What an absolute mess that was. I'll take it. But wow. That was certainly interesting. But yeah, selling the team and starting again is not a bad idea, Kello. However, uh, we have no money. Our players are worth no money. And we're struggling to sell sign people as it is. I mean, I'm not going to say no to that, sir. 3 2 up as well after being 10 man down. I'm not going to say no to that either. Don't lie though, Zoe, you probably thought that about me as well. Exactly. We're both an absolute mess, but that's why it works.
with the remaining money on marketing and then sell it for huge profits. A good idea in principle. However, this club doesn't know what you mean by remaining money. We are about £10,000 in debt as it is. Oh, give him a give him a red. Go on. It is a red. Lovely. Well, now it's all nice and even. Ten men apiece. I feel quietly confident. I mean, you wouldn't offend me for not liking Football Killer. If anything, it makes me appreciate you more for sticking around. You've got absolutely no interest in what I'm playing, but you're here anyway. I thought that was going in then. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Exercise in sports. <laughs> Agreed. That's why I play a weird ass management game where you don't have to do the sports, you can just pretend to do them. This match definitely does seem to be quite even. Chances are going both ways. Keeps it entertaining at least. I mean, that was a nice idea.
was a bit close for comfort. Go on, get us a fourth. Felt like he was offside. Apparently he wasn't. Ah, look at that. That feels like it's our match now. Not too long left to go. Yeah, that is true. I'll take that as a compliment. I do hope you are enjoying the vibe. I'll take that win. Definitely thought we were losing at one point. <laughs> Ooh, six hundred and seventy five pounds. Practically rolling in the money. Somebody signed our backup, backup, right back. Okay, who do we get for the first round of the virus? Wormly. Wormly are level 10 as well. I'm okay with that. The more times we get drawn against people at our sort of level, the further we should be able to go. There's DCR in there. Let's take a look, shall we? Uh, I don't know if I can get back to the draw. DCR. Who am I looking for, killer? Or DRC? Do you mean in this competition or just in the game in general?
Oh, the country DCR. Yeah, yeah, they're in the game. I'm pretty sure on my other saves, I've got a couple of players from there. Looking a little bit light on the people we're bringing through scouting at the moment. Which is a bit worrying. So something with an RC in the competition. Hmm. Oh! We've got somebody that wants to play with us. Let's see, how does he compare to... Elliot. He's staring into your solar soul. <laughs> yeah, he is a bit, isn't he? So he's two years younger than our current striker, but nowhere near as good. Oh yeah, we're going to have no idea who these people are at this level, Killer. We are way too far down to know who anybody is. So where's our striker at the moment? He is there. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to have cover. Do I have any funny names in my team? Uh... Not really yet. We've got Titterton. We've got a Hitchcock. That's about it at the moment. Hitch. I mean, we do have Cox on the left-hand side. I'm slightly worried that the scouting has dried up a little bit. Which is not a good sign when we still have so much space left in our team. Oh, the bank balance is looking good. to a B rating now.
looks like we've got a couple of games up against people in the lower end of the division. Should hopefully be some easy wins there. Easy peasy, exactly. We'd like to hope so, anyway. If you want to get out of this division, they're matches that we should be looking to win. We are still second in the league at the moment, which is nice. Still in one of those promotion spots. Let's see what we can do. Once again, back in our very empty stadium. again for our many adoring fans. That'd have been a very good way to start the match. Murphy cuts in nicely. That was nice. Take the lead at the four minute mark. Show Clanfield that we mean business. Who are Miles we playing? We're playing against Siren Sester, the team we just played against. So there's potential for an upset there. We'll see what happens. Oh, Granger, what is that? Stratford avoiding the tackle nicely there. The finish was lacking a little bit. Do I play teams around two or just UK? Uh, when you're this far down, uh, just teams in the UK. I mean, in fact, I mean, when you're this far down, it's just teams in the county. I mean, 
particularly just does like surrounding counters, I guess. Like we play against Hereford and Nuant. Pick the county. Oh, penalty. Um, I mean, yes and no. You get to pick where which team you play for. Um, but then whatever team you play for, depending on where they are, is what county you'd be in. of this sort of level clubs can't be affording to go across the country to play against different teams so you generally play against teams that are quite close by you <laughs> I picked Worcester out of all I did yeah I picked Worcester because of this stadium I thought it would be funny to pick a really small team with a really big, <laughs> big Gloucester yesterday. <laughs> well, yeah. I like picking teams that are close by. Does Cheltenham have a team? They do. Um, the Cheltenham team is quite high up, actually. That's why I didn't pick them. I think they play in the third division. Or maybe fourth. How did that not go in? How did we not score that? I know the Cheltenham team would be closer, but the Cheltenham team does not have a stadium that sits 12,000 people. Cinderford do have a team, yeah. Cinderford are an eighth tier. Tewksbury. Tewksbury is a little bit too low. I think they play in 12th or 13th tier. So a bit too far down. At that sort of level it's all amateur football and nobody gets paid anything so... This has been a very convincing game at the moment, hasn't it? Showing that we can play well. Goals across all the front three. Five. We can! Lovely!
Very happy with that. Very, very happy. If we could do that against every team, that would be wonderful. at the moment. Eight matches in a row without losing. Very nice. Yeah, we're definitely not finding as many people in the scouting as we were. A lot of people have probably been signed already, unfortunately, for us. Not ideal when you're given a team that only has half a squad at the start of the season. We're making do, though. We are finding some people, I guess. Wins eight games in a row, still the rise. I haven't won eight games in a row. We haven't lost eight games in a row. There's two draws in there, and I'm really not happy about that. That's four points we've dropped there. And if we had those four points, we'd be top of the league. people that we just simply can't afford. That is going to happen a lot over the course of this season. See if we can beat Shortwood then. Let's see how that will go. Let's bring in the new guy, see how he does.
do always look strong when we counter. I'm very happy about that. A reasonable attempt from range there from Cox. Hi, Thai, hello! I... We're not ignoring you, I promise. How are you today, Thai? What's a cracker lacking? Wow, that was terrible. How do I like streaming for now? Yeah. Yeah, I've enjoyed it so far. I can't tell if it's too boring or not for everybody else. But I'm having fun. As we go 2 0 up there, happy with that. It's nice of you to say, Zo. I have no idea what's going on. Just here for a ride and also what Zoe said. <laughs> well, I'm more than happy to have you along for the ride. Three nil up already. I'm happy with that. You don't know either. <laughs> Uh, so what we do, Thai, is we are the guy that controls the team, basically. So we get to uh, we get to control like signing of players, picking who gets to play in the team. Uh, we get to pick the uh, positions that everybody plays. Um, tell the players how we want them to play, and then the match engine within the game. Um, play that simulates and plays out a match. So you can fuck up the team you don't like. I mean, you can do. Um, I can only control the team that I'm in charge of. But I guess you could, like, if there's a team in real life you don't like, you could control them and screw them over.
if our second half was anything the same as our first half, I'm going to be very happy with this match. Seems to be another dominant win. Are they named after real life clubs? Uh, they essentially are the real life clubs. Uh, even this far down, we are in the 10th tier of the English leagues. Sound of them kicking the ball is quite satisfying. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, uh, all the teams from real life are in here, um, across pretty much every country in the world. Alright then, if Cox just wants to show what he can do, he's going to do that. But yeah, uh, all the teams and basically all the countries, well, not all the teams, but like, you've probably got all the teams in the top divisions of each country. Um, and all the players that belong to that team will be in here. You get that as standard within the game itself. And then you can download um, databases from other people. Which is what I've done here. To uh, get a lot of the more lower leagues. Which is again based on real teams. And will have some amount of the real players. So for example, um, you can see at the bottom here, we do have some people that have actual faces and some people that don't. So the people with actual faces either exist in real life or it, some of them even, I think like Cox and Murphy, they play for this club in real life too. That's fair, fine. That's fair. Good to see our new striker doing very well though. He's picked up himself two goals in his debut match. I thought that was going to be goal number six then. We are certainly showing Shortwood who is boss at the moment. Oh, that's going to be a sending off for sure. Mm. 
Bye bye, Ben. What a shame. another very strong showing from our team. Very happy with how we've played from the attacking side. Um, I'll probably go to about seven though. We'll go for another half hour or so. No rush, but I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably go on for a little bit longer, but not too much. You still need to sign a lot more people. Why does it say I'm controlling the under 23s? classes in the under 23s. Why are you there? You should not be down there. O'Brien does look pretty reasonable. 6 4 centre back, I do like that. Naturally, he wants too much money. We shall keep looking though. We shall find people to sign for us eventually.
What am I doing? I am vibing with the music whilst the game loads. We're still trying to find people, so we just keep checking our scouting every now and again. But there's not really much to do whilst we wait for the next match. Where are you playing? Left. We'll make an offer for you. How long between matches? Uh, it depends on what our competition schedule is like. Um, so we have five days now in between the next match, but in between that one and the following one, there's seven days. The match schedule is not always so IRL time. Oh no 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 no. Wait, I'm confused. How long in IRL is it between matches? Oh, like a few minutes. Usually doesn't take too long to get to the next match. Depends how much other faff we get to do in between, like trying to sign people that clearly want way too much money. And different things like that. for you would not be a good career move. We'll show him. I didn't need to worry about. That's fine. Some sim. This is part of the sim. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, it's just some guy. I'm dumb. You're not meant to agree with that, you know. Praise our keeper, because he's been playing well. I agree with straight up facts. Wow. That is not very nice.
There we are. On to the next match day. Easily be our starting striker if he wants to sign. He does not. Lovely. Get out of here, Jordan. We shall definitely play this match and see if we play any more after this or not. Might not going and raiding somebody. What? Let's show Littleton who's boss. That was very nice. Yet again, we're taking an early lead, and that keeps me very happy. Our attackers once again showing why they are the star players of the team. Thanks for stopping by, Thai. I really appreciate it. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. That was almost a good attempt. Almost. Yeah, I've got no idea what just happened to my music. Um, it apparently connected to some speakers in the living room and started playing classical music. I've got no idea where it went. <laughs> hey 
Yeah, I do quite like this playlist. It's quite mellow. This is not exactly a high action game. So I'm quite happy with the chill vibes. about 10 past wonderful Is that going to count? It is going to count. I mean, I'm not going to say no to a free goal. We definitely seem to be hitting our stride with these matches at the moment. I know we're playing a little bit easier opponents right now, but... Oh, as I say that, they score, of course. Typical. But these easier matches are allowing us to keep pace at the top of the table. That is our end of season goal to be top two and get promoted. Winning the league would be ideal. Ultimately, I just want to climb as quickly as we can. That's a very nice strike from Murphy. That was very well struck.
I really want to know where the fans sit when they show up. Because they never show in any of these stands. Like, there's meant to be 52 people watching today. But they're just... They're just not here, apparently. Outside the stadium. Like, we could basically see all three sides, and there's just nobody there. Below, maybe. Should we take a look? See if there's anybody on the other side. We're not going to get a camera angle to show us now, are we? Control it by the cam. Bing. Doesn't look like there's anybody there either. No, it's just empty wherever you're sitting. Must be not enough people here for the game engine to render anybody actually being here. It's a shame, I want to see 50 people just sat on their own at different corners of the stands. That felt offside? It is. Harry wants to make it five, apparently, right at the end. Another lovely game. Another game very well played by Murphy. Showing us all once again, he is just that good. Definitely the star man for our team. Still four points behind the top. Sizable goal difference on them though, so if we ever catch up, we will overtake. Can't really ask for too much more at this stage. However, I think we are going to end it there for tonight. I think we'll go and find somebody to go and raid, I think. So, thank you very much for everybody coming and stopping by. Uh, thank you, Doris, Alex, Berza, and Vito for the follows for today. Thank you, Zoe, for keeping me company. Thank you, Thai. I know you've gone already. Uh, thank you, Panda, if you're still here. Uh, we shall go and find somebody to raid. Let's go see who is playing Football Manager today.
Uh, who do we fancy? Who do we want to go watch? I was busy dying in League. Oh, no worries, killer. Thanks for stopping by to you as well. I really appreciate it. Let's go raid that guy. No idea who he is. Thank you too, killer. Right, I will see everybody in the next one. And we'll go stop by to Conriddle, who is also playing Football Manager. Right. Tally ho.